Forspoken Review is finally done. This one took a little while. It's such a slog to get through. Uh, this video sponsor is two things we use every day. Uh, first is my wallet. <laughs> Extra, I use this all the time, guys. Extra Wallets is given 20% off. Uh, these badass uh, box wallets and more. There's a bunch of different designs and different types on there. Go check them out. And then finally, as you can see, I'm wearing a brand new design over at Rogue's Apparel. The Combined Angry Army shirt. We were working on it for a while. It looks badass. I think it turned out great. Love the colors on it. It would certainly help as I'm sure this video will be demonetized from YouTube for too much profanity. Repping the merch, guys. Well, okay. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Check it out. Bill, good to see you again. Welcome to Square Enix. We are so excited to hear about this game. We really need a winner. Right. Tell us, tell us, tell us. It's called Forspoken. We follow okay. a gritty, streetwise girl from New York City, and she is okay. thrust into a dying fantasy world. Uh -huh. It's overrun by plague. Warring sorcerers have carved up the landscape. Multiple magic trees, deep RPG elements. We got labyrinths and quests and parkour and boss battles, and it's going to look gorgeous. <laughs> Sounds great! Look, we really, really need a hit right now. I mean, desperate. Uh, you know what? L let's do it! Uh, you have everything that you need uh, from us. Uh, when can you get started for us, Bill? Not, not me. Um, I'm just like what? the big picture kind of guy, but I've got a staff writer for you. Okay. He's great. He's worked actually he on is? a couple of your other games before. Jimmy! Okay. Jimmy, come in here! Jimmy, I'm not familiar. J Jimmy, say nice. Say hello to the nice man. Oh, oh. Um, are, are, you, are you ready to get started on Forspoken? Are, the, are these crayons? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready to start, start on for skin. I write real good. This is the writer for the whole game. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Ooh, he's a fuck, 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 fuck. You can't curse in front of Jimmy because he will just repeat it forever. So unless that's what you want your entire script to be, I would not do that, okay? Just give him his crayons and it'll be great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, are you eating? Is he eating the crayons? Not the paper, okay? Oh my god. We are so screwed. Hey, a new IP from Square Enix, only unfortunately, Forspoken sucks! It's game of this year. Game of the year, 2023. Game of this year. Game what? Game of this year. Game of this year. <laughs> This is officially the game of this year. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> game of this year. It's like, what the hell was the team behind Final Fantasy thinking? Wait, are you serious? Wait, this is the team behind Final Fantasy? It's too erotic. We need to change the terms of service. How can you go from that game to this? <laughs> and the immersion immediately broken. Ah, oh, fuck. Barrel's my only weakness. Parkour. I think someone in Japan just got fleeced. They must have walked into the office and said, uh, this is what Americans like, and then took the money and ran. 
Parkinson! Are you yes. serious? <laughs> Craig! That, that was f***ing stupid. <laughs> Rule number one. There you go. See, Rule you number one, when a gun is jammed into the bottom of your chin, don't you, you, you don't throw sand. <laughs> A huge, derivative, disappointing, open world filled with boring! I'm sorry! I just... I got carried away, I suppose. I don't even know what the fuck Look, happened. Let me take you to one last place. Fuck no! Come on, please! <laughs> I'm not sure he's gonna take no for an answer. And if it's not boring, it's eye-roll inducing! Well. Yeah, well, whatever magic bound us when I got here, hopefully we'll unbind when I get back. Pity. I was growing so fond of our partnership. Mm, I wish I could say the same. You say something, dear. No immersion, no passion for storytelling, just a collection of copy-pasted elements and the most bare bones of plots. I'm going to give you an early present. Try not to piss it away. I'm going to release you under the condition you serve 120 hours of community service. Is it because she has a pretty face? <laughs> if you're, uh, if you're, you know, if you look like Joe and you've been stealing three times in a fucking row, you're going to jail. Oopsie. Aw, oh, get out of here. <laughs> oh, you, you're cute. Actually, maybe I'll take that back. Joe, Joe has a cute pinchy, you want a pinchy cheek. Pinchy go on, face. Go on, get out of here, Joe. You have now committed... Three acts of grand larceny, <laughs> seven <laughs> acts of grand theft auto, three murders. That's not my car. And Good I look like was. that. <laughs> if you look like that, you you are allowed to go. Slow walk the video game. Why is with all the slow well, walking? I can't it. handle it. I fucking hate slow walking games. Just let me I'll walk at the normal pace best. the character motherfucking walks at. Even if I wanted to. And if they aren't forcing you to slow walk, they're forcing you to just stand stiff and go nowhere just to talk to your wrist! And you Speaking can't even walk law, around during these segments. He, it's like the... he came right through the break. Hey, Cuff. Let me move! Out. We've got a one long way to go. It's not you like it's wireless. From somewhere else, right? It's not uh -huh. like he can walk and talk. Initially, we thought, it's not that bad. Then we were immediately proven wrong when the game just slugged along, revealing its ultimately hollow and empty game design. <sighs> Great. This this fort looks like the five forts that I already fucking went into. You, you, you see this shit? You seeing this shit, Joe? Yes. Fuck is this? It, there's like, yes, it's impressive how big it is, and like, well, there's stuff here, but it's all the same you stuff, just copied and pasted over and over. Oh, so it's like mind. fake stuff. You, you just faked it. It's fake. It's a fake. Forspoken oh, is in a genre called isekai. I think it's a term from Japanese anime and mangas, which is where a hero is transported from their often mundane life into a magical world where they're special. They're the hero of the new universe, discovering just how special they are. You are the only hope we have. You're special. <laughs> okay, you obviously don't know me. And here it's the world of Athia, and our main character Frey finds Jarvis from Iron Man stuck in a bracelet? I swear to God, asshole, show yourself! Show myself, I've shown. I'm showing. I can't get more showed. Show myself in two. Where are you? <laughs> right here, at the end of your arm. Oh, hello, yes. So oh, perhaps you're smarter than you look. No. Yes. N no. Yes. And then falls through a, a portal to become the hero of this fantasy world in which she can do magical parkour. Only her powers kind of suck. She throws rocks. Magic missile. 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 Mi miss missile. 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 And she looks weir really weird and awkward doing it. I was actually wanting to do finger guns, and I wanted yeah. to go pow, 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 that would ping, ping, bang, 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 bang. What is this? Uh, Frey, Frey, we really need to practice this whole magic thing. That last badger attack almost killed us. 
Frey, pay attention now. Let's try together, okay? All right, all right, I got it, I got it. Okay, hand steady now. Deliberate movements. Aim. Fire! Bang, 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 bang! Bang, bang! How's that? Precisely. Not to mention, she's kind of a shitty person to everyone, with the exception of ch little children, I guess, to pull at your heartstrings. People only really get saved in fairy tales. Wrong. You'll see. All right, well, uh, I got a split. Um, Oh, this little girl died? Let's go revenge her. Only, we don't care about the little girl. The girl must be surrendered to Tanta Sila at once. No need. I'll go to her myself. She's unfortunately an unlikable character most of the time. See her? It's her! If she wanted, she could turn you to ashes in a heartbeat. But she'd never do that. Isn't that right, Frey? Okay, can you fucking let it go already? Damn. Can you what? stop being such a fucking b you all of a sudden? Like, what the fuck? Stupid at bits. Get the fuck out. What? The money. Gotta find Homer you want first. Who who's Tommy, Joe? Gotta find Homer uh, first. Or firefighter first. Gotta find Homer first. Why would you not get the money just right there? Homer just first. scoop it up and do How both. How does that affect Gotta your. Gotta find Homer first. How does that affect your ability to find? And why are you moving like molasses? What's the rush? <laughs> oh shit! The bed fucking trapped me. I can't walk over to that inch high bed. Probably want to get low on, to avoid smoke inhalation. So she's doing everything wrong. That's gonna separate okay, you from the money. Okay, we gotta get out of here now. No, no, no! See, what's it so stupid? Fucking did you it to yourself. You played yourself once again. I'm rooting for the fire, to be honest. <laughs> and just contradicting herself constantly. All the moments we're supposed to like and identify with her are so painful and unearned, it just doesn't work. Destruction and corruption are forms of creation in themselves. Oh, that guy's wow. power You sound like a serial killer. What? What? Destruction and corruption are beautiful forms of creation in themselves. I didn't sound like that. You absolutely sound like that. I know you absolutely sound like that. Yeah, see? Two can play at that game. You're fucking stupid. And it's not the actress's fault. I actually commend her performance and voice acting here. She's doing the best she can with the material that basically makes her unlikable and unrelatable. It's a shame. Even ones like you. Yeah, because, you know, you know, beautiful young girls, uh, you know, are always, you know, have zero friends and, and nobody uh, and they squat in uh, multi-million dollar apartments. It's so hard being supermodel tall and hot. It's so, so hard being a supermodel. But no worries, the game does actually give you cooler abilities eventually from Tantras. There are four massively crazy ladies in this world. Where is the interloper, child? The one who dares trespass upon my realm? Tantrasyla. Someone must pay for such treacheries. Tantrasyla. Stand aside. Listen to me. <sighs> who collectively are giving off uh, this miasma that's uh, like known as the break and turning everything into monsters. Is this the break shit's doing too? I believe so. It corrupts everything it touches before destroying it completely. It must have touched now this game. <laughs> Defeat them one by one, and you absorb their powers, giving you control over time and water and fire, lightning. The only problem is that uh, it's 
piecemealing these, these better parts of your power means that for most of the game, you're not using the cool stuff. In fact, the only time you get all your powers is just before the final boss battle, making you go, wait, what the fuck? Why would you do that? The game could have been so much better if you didn't wait to the end for this crap. Because it does in fact have a few good boss battles. Even when you think you so that was a fun boss fight. It was engaging. I enjoyed it. For $70, it better have a fucking good one every once in a while. I particularly liked fighting a few of those crazy Karens with their extremely over-the-top oh acting. Listen. You... We'll burn for humiliating me. <laughs> the depth is Fucking crazy. Yeah, but uh, I bet she's really good in bed. <laughs> like, they really let these ladies go book wild in the recording booth. Please, I'm ending your bullshit now. Do your boss. No. It's like an SNL parody of, like, a boss battle in a video game. This is great. I love it. <laughs> Strike me down! Strike me down! She's now the emperor! Strike me down! The dragon was also cool. Is it's your first big boss battle early? That got me excited that this game was gonna have a ton to throw at you and that that was just the beginning. I was wrong. Dead wrong. Stop running! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes! I am tired of your shitty gameplay. How did you know? Aside from them, just about everything else is extremely disappointing. For, uh, 70 fucking dollars? 70 fucking dollars! Fuck! A <laughs> hundred dollars for the full experience? Are you, are you out of your mind? Holy shit, Deluxe Edition, $95. Buy and save 0% off! <laughs> now, I'm sure you've seen how awful and cringe the dialogue can be. That, did I just do that? That was bad. Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moved shit with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved shit with my mind. I just keep saying <laughs> I, I, I. I just move shit with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, talk to sentient cuffs, kill jacked up beasts. You know what? I'll probably fly next. No, you just <laughs> it Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. If you could just master these... These writers must have, I don't know, just watched Deadpool, right? And, and, and thought that, yeah, we can do that and we can do it better. We're just as clever and funny. It'll be just the same type of humor. Um, did you not just can, see me Can everyone go? Gnarly beast? <laughs> oh, oh my God. bring it, you mangled monsters. Mangled monsters. You Only it's not. You're not funny. And after a short while, you'll be rolling your eyes so hard they fall back into your head. The fucking biome is really disappointing. Uh, is this the power of the PS4? <laughs> uh, gear. I'm seeing freaking dragons and, oh yeah, I'm talking to a fucking cuff. Van Brace. I'm talking to a fucking cuff! Their delivery on that line. It's great. <laughs> it's great. Okay, so let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not oh. what I would call Earth. Oh, nothing in there. I'm seeing freaking dragons, and oh yeah, I'm talking to a fucking cuff. Van Brace. 
Didn't she already say that? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's because of the death, and I'm hoping that they're not just going to repeat shit over and over. It's that type of writing that thinks if you curse every other word with, with plenty of fucks that's endearing? Fuck off! Shut the fuck up! Yes, I'm gonna need more cover. And quickly, here's an idea. Stop faffing around and do something. Shut the fuck up! Look, I'm guilty of excessive profanity. You guys know me. I mean, the U YouTube ad restriction robot can attest to that. But goddamn, she even outpaces me and how many fucks per minute she outputs. So much still to see. I don't need a stupid fucking tour. I don't fucking need a stupid fucking tour. This fucking asshole kept calling me a fucking hero for saving people. I'm a fucking moron. I fucking hate him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> God. That's not to say that it's all awful. Every moment of the 15, 20 plus hour story, there were moments that did make me laugh. Oh, check out the Robin Hood one of these. They're perhaps minions, and they don't look like they're keen to let us through. Guess we're just gonna have to be <laughs> As extra you run persuasive. through. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna let us through, and we made it. <laughs> <laughs> and they let us through. <laughs> and sh there should be for how much is paid for, but it never rises above dull, boring, and extremely predictable. This isn't a story that anyone is gonna be sharing as a must play or anything. In fact, the most memorable thing for me was how the game's writer set it up to be so predictable that Frey was abandoned on Christmas in New York and and there's links and hints everywhere uh, that you know she's related to somebody in the fantasy world and why do I have a feeling they're going to go with your parents didn't abandon you they were taken from this fantasy world yeah some it's, it's clearly it's <laughs> the most obvious fucking shit they had to leave you behind they actually did love you and all this other stupid shit and sure enough, yeah. And the game goes on and on about your mother. Frey wants desperately to learn about her parents. But the game is only ever interested in talking about her mother. Mother this, mother that. Not once does the game give a fucking shit about who your fucking father is at all. So far this game hasn't spoken a peep about your father. So it has to be, right? Either that or they just hate men. <coughs> hip hip hooray! Any man that is a good guy is like a dopey idiot. What kind of message is that to send to players? Oh, three she hours. never wanted to know who her mother was either. She had three hours of opportunity to ask her mom, Okay, oh, I have a mom. Oh, who's my dad? And she's like, you know. It's a huge question that every person playing the game is going to ask, and the game just combs over like it's nothing. What are you Just the dad! There's no fucking dad! Why the fuck do you hate fathers and men so much? Fuck this game. Not a goddamn word. That is so fucking ridiculous. Uh, and that's really all that I can think. There's one more memorable thing. This much touted multiple endings. I have to talk about this. At one point, you either have a, a choice between going back home to New York uh, that your ass has been whining about the entire game or fighting the final boss battle and getting a different ending. And if you choose New York, it is fucking hilarious. Yay, Homer, that's the only thing we cared about in the whole game. Where do we go now? And the kitties. That's why I chose it. Yay! There you go, now you're <laughs> Where do we go now? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> it's over. That long, long, long-winded explanation.
information and story reveal of everybody and everything. <laughs> and she's like, I'm going on. <laughs> the best they can watch. That was what the writers came up with for the two branching choices. That's not choice. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. The writers are trolling everyone. I love it. I love that. That choice. <laughs> the big. That was the big. Can you imagine not saving the game oh and then God. you just choose that one to see what happens and then you're like, wait, that was it? Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> So the story sucks, the characters are generic or annoying, and the dialogue is laughable. What do we have left? The gameplay? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I wanted to see. I couldn't move the camera. I tried to move the camera up, but it's got me locked. I wanted to see the fucking cartwheel. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I was actually initially impressed with the open world of Athi and how huge it was. I mean, the game is pretty fucking wide open. This whole open world is massive. Wait, what is that? So, cock and balls. <laughs> that is until you realize it's pointlessly huge and empty. I mean, if, the, if I like open worlds that have stuff in them and there's yeah. things to do, if there's nothing to do in the world, then, like, I don't know. That's what it looks like here. Yeah. I've never quite seen a game like this that doesn't give you any reason or incentive to actually do anything in it. All right, well, I mean, I guess I made the mistake of trying to explore because I went all the way right. I went all the way left. You're really just supposed to go down the middle across it all feels like empty uh endless busy work you'll feel like you're skip skipping whole huge sections but you aren't actually and you're kind of sort of meant to puzzle locks this is a really tough one Man, you are so good at this. <laughs> Thank you. That was a cinch. The map is a fucking nightmare. This thing is a frustrating mess. It's a like non-functional map that takes minutes to actually load and, and freezes every few inches you scroll. So I'm just, I can't zoom out of the map anymore. Let me try to zoom out as fast. Why? Stop loading. Stop it. No free roam. Stop loading every five seconds. And I, is there stuff here? I can't fucking tell. I think this is the top left of the map. Okay, now I'm going to go diagonally towards the middle. It's stopping every three seconds to load. What? Partha. What the f fuck is Partha? Joe, okay, now these things start to populate here. So you have Altar of SN, Juan Castle, Treasure Chest, Treasure Chest. Trying to figure out where the hell you are? This map is complete shit. What is happening here? Right trigger, zoom in. Let's do left trigger to zoom out. Okay, let's move somewhere. We're just... Uh, I guess I'll let the map load. I think it is loading. I think it's loading. It was loaded and it fit. Well, Look, see, what did I tell you? That You see how fucking long that is? You think the game is broken. That's fucking insane. Traveling the world is supposed to be fun, and you do go fast. I like the parkour, and later you eventually get the ability to swing and launch from grapple points. But again, too little, too late. You don't care by then, and you just want the whole thing to be over when you realize that all the enemies that populate this world are huge chores to fight. Generic, uninspiring, usually huge damage sponges that with your limited spells at the start of the game are just oh, oh, relentless to fight. Ugh. This is what's protecting. 
Then we already fought that. Now fight two. Are you... Are you fuck... Are you fucking me? Are you fucking with me? Looks like somebody was expecting us. Well, there's only one way onward. It's just a huge slog at the start, and by mid and late game, they're ridiculous pushovers, so it's very uneven. Or maybe just press and oh, kill. <laughs> Fly off to the left and explode. So glad that's over. What? In the next room, three. If there is, and we're quitting and we're ending the stream immediately, <laughs> chat. Then you get to these sections with these fucking lanterns that empower the enemies you're fighting, making for random difficulty spikes where one sub boss is boosted by three lanterns and they're more powerful than any freaking boss in the entire game! No! Poorly tested and haphazardly thrown together. No! Ah, uh, that could have been it right there. Fly, 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 fly. No! 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 Ah! Uh, oh, don't die. Nice work. Now smash that. Fuck! Christ. Fuck! Fuck this stupid fucking piece of shit game. And so what about the loot, right? RPG and the gear for doing all of this crap. Well, you get necklaces, cloaks, and nails. Y yeah, I, <laughs> this is the first game that I know that puts emphasis on your nail customization. We end up looking hilariously inconspicuous all game long when the entire town guard is apparently looking for us. Let's go. Get the fuck out of my way. Bullshit. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Blending with the with the crowd with that uh, glowing <laughs> cape. With your pre-order cape. <laughs> Blending with the crowd. Yes. Because the whole fucking city is loser and looking for. Her. And the guards are just like, yeah, I guess that that person looks very much like. You like flannel. Flannel. <laughs> flannel? <laughs> what is flannel? I don't even know what flannel is. In this season. <laughs> Do you believe her? Heretic. Heretic. <laughs> Some He's wearing that color good. before Memorial Day. <laughs> Adidas <laughs> shoes and fucking Maybe sweet uh, have, like, jeans. Light up Skechers. Don't you know there's an outsider <laughs> I, uh, on the loose? I'll be on my way then. Wait, you, you're so sorry to see you go, fair maiden, but go you must. And quickly. <clears throat> that was a little too close for me. And then there's somehow performance issues on even my high end PC. I was about to say, you're gonna, you're gonna crash when I say something nice. Now's your chance. Sweet, did we crash? Oh, did we come crash? On. <laughs> mm. Now's my chance. Let's get the fuck out of yeah. here. Well, now's my chance. Now's our chance. We'll just tell them that the save file's corrupt and we'll have to review with what we've got so far. <laughs> Was OJ playing? What? what <laughs> Abyss and Lloyd, what gave you that idea? The graphics, they're not particularly good looking, except for the character models, like our main character. I mean, the graphics are alright. 
At least on her character model, she looks pretty. I should get back to home. Legit. Poor girl needs her dinner. And you don't really get anything used for a cool to put on Frey as you loot, which means there's very real little reason to do dungeon diving here. I'm getting to be one tough customer. I'd say you're becoming reasonably deadly, yes. That's quite a fight. 2,000, and the XP makes no fucking sense. Joe fought a bear for a fucking hour. <laughs> Gruelingly, this bullet sponge that you weren't supposed to face at that moment, it was so more powerful than him, and he got 700 experience for the fucking effort. So the balancing is suspect. It also has some of the worst, most boring side quests, like touring the city awkwardly, I don't know, finding sheep. This guy's a mess. You don't bathe them? Oh, we try. You didn't but see that? that? No. Love she's mother. You, the whole fucking thing to feed the sheep, then she it like you know, slowly goes up to the sheep, you press the button, she kneels down and gets ready to feed the sheep. Then the thing went black and it says, Fed the sheep <laughs> <laughs> and then it fades back in and then the sheep has eaten. <laughs> they couldn't bother. They couldn't even fucking bother to animate you getting close to the sheep and feeding the sheep and petting the sheep. You know, it all feels like that sort of kill 10 rats type of lazy effort from, from MMOs 20 years ago. Only, this is a full triple A game that's doing it. Unforgivable. And the side characters in these quests, ish. Reynost is a harsh and unforgiving land. Not all who make the journey there are fortunate enough to escape a fiery fate. And for those they leave behind, naught remains but emptiness. Inside? You would no. do well to take care if you plan on venturing there yourself. It's the fucking worst. You need to give up, man. You're That's never gonna make it. No talent. <laughs> you ain't no it. Talent. What do you mean? It, so, it's a world filled with nothing, with, with awful characters, boring story, crappy side quests, quin cringe dialogue, and a predictable, unfun gameplay loop with a few fun boss battles and some combat here and there because they, I don't know, they must have borrowed at least one talented Final Fantasy boss developer at some point. But only for a day or two because the rest of the boss battles are awful. Like this poorly implemented a uh, bird battle. He's vulnerable to this. This is what you're supposed to use. I just can't get on top of these roofs because there's lips. And when I'm locked on, which is what you need to do to be able to. S it's just worst boss battle after worst boss battle after Sense the worst. Of or there's that three hour uh, guided storytelling of her generic backstory in the middle of the final boss battle sequence. Nor will I permit harm to befall my people. Sinter, I will throw my child through this portal. <laughs> one individual to another. I am Athia is in your hands. It is you who will keep our hopes alive. Yeah, he's putting as many, as many platitudes in and yes, Trump. Had her own ideas the children are our future. The Tontas were good people. I, even if you were into the story, I think you'd be getting annoyed right now, right? Yes. This is fucking I was like, insane. just tell me the fucking story. Just give me the goddamn number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a spectacular failure. The final verdict for Forspoken is a 4 out of 10. 
It is below average, but it does get some points for the cool abilities and the spells, the combat, you know, but unfortunately you don't care much by then. Uh, I, uh, there's those crazy damn boss ladies that I really enjoyed. Strike me down, what's the matter? Ravage me with your attacks! Hit me harder! Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been too long since you've touched me this way. And there's other few bits here and there that I liked. And oh, and the fantasy kitties. This is part two. You're not afraid of Pet kitty. Pet kitty. Pet kitty? Another quest or just pet kitty? You're not afraid of me. You get that huh? cape on Etsy. <laughs> Everybody's afraid of me. But on the whole, another disaster for Square Enix. We made plenty of foreskin jokes about the title, but it turns out for broken would have been more appropriate. This after Babylon's Fall, which which came after Marvel's Avengers. Jeez, Square, things are really not looking good, and Final Fantasy cannot come soon enough for them. The real Final Fantasy. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Sheesh. This is Jimmy. He's going to be working. Are you ready to start on Forspoken? Are those crayons? Yes, I'm ready as fuck. <laughs> Just keep going, Joe. <laughs> Both game. Both game. You're real good. All right. You're all good. Is it bad? Yeah. They're not too bad. Green crayons. Jimmy, the writer of Forspoken, loves to eat his crayons. Let me try one. Of these. They're like they lose the flavor. Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I broke my tooth on that. Yeah, that was a good. Gross. Pretty hard. Yeah. You know, super.